Hello friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Rongo Labs. So today we are going to be continuing our fall damage test. This is part two of fall damage for zombies. So we've got here a bunch of uh, cages set up, uh, various platforms at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 at the very bottom, uh, drop deep. So, and then also I took a great uh, suggestion from uh, Epop Games, one of my lovely subscribers, and filled the bottom with spikes. This uh, will allow me to not have to worry about cleaning up the test subjects after they uh, are no longer doing their testing. And because we had uh, uh, fat zombies still surviving at the 60 block fall, I went ahead and added, oh yes, more drop chambers. <laughs> So uh, here we got here now 10 up, 20 up, 30, 40, 50, 60, more up. So basically we've got 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120 block fall. Can any zombie survive a 120 block plummet to their death? Well, I mean, if they couldn't survive, then it wouldn't be a plummet to their death, I suppose. So yeah all right well first thing we are going to do is we are going to once again show how the cop zombies let's make sure debug mode is on there we go how the cop zombies are able to survive a fall let's make sure i'm pointed in the right spot here yep uh, can survive a fall and we'll also test out our new spike deployment system so let's go ahead and spawn in oops spawn in 25 fat zombies hello friends come on drop off the edge there oh that's good boys that's a good zombie let's see if i can get oh 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 come on come on there you go let's see how long they last down there all right let's go ahead and clean these guys up you test subjects can, can go back to your resting chambers. All right, let's, uh, and these guys are nearly all dead. They are all dead. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much, Epop Gamers or Games. Uh, that was very good advice. Okay, so let's see if zombie... Fatty zombies can survive a fall from 70 blocks high. So let's get our target reticle in the right location and, and let us spawn. They can indeed survive a 70 block fall. These are freaking tough bastards. You need to just stop throwing them out. You don't need to be... Yeah, exactly. All right, so 70 blocks, and they can still survive. That is really impressive. Yeah, <laughs> it knocked his buddy off. Ah, you thought you were going to get me, huh? All right, so 70 blocks. Zombies still have the strength okay let's see from 80 blocks high this is really impressive all right from 80 blocks from 80 blocks they are still walking oh you see that we had one actually die we had one die i wonder what caused that one single death I wonder if a zombie landed on top of another zombie. I wonder if that did it. Interesting. So we had one death. What if we can replicate that? All right, let's see if we can replicate that and see if we can get that same kind of result again because one death is very interesting. All right, that zombie spawns. So far, all, all living. They do not survive long at all with spikes. I mean, normally, normally a fat zombie will, you know, touch a spike and I mean, will live on spikes for quite some time. 
So it looks like they are doing, they are taking a great deal of damage from the fall, just not enough to actually kill them outright. All right, so let us see if zom Fat Zombie from 80 blocks can survive. Here we go. Fat Zombie from 80 blocks. Gentlemen, to your deaths, please. Wow, unexpected results. Now look at that, look at that. Um, let's go ahead and go in here. Look at the spike damage. They are literally, well, they're surviving for just moments. I mean, they're getting just a couple of feet in and then dying. Yeah. He was able to survive past, wow, that's a way up there, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go back up here and get rid of these other test subjects. And then we'll we'll try them in at 60, 70, 80, uh, 60, no, sorry, 70, 80, 90. We'll try them at 100 blocks. Wow, that's impressive. Did I, this is a, I, I did not expect this result, which is good. That's why we, that's why we experiment on the zombies, right? All right, let's, uh, in here and fat zombies, please. Gentlemen. Ah, uh, initiate testing. Okay, that one was a definite death. They're definitely dying. We finally have found the threshold for them to die. Imp okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, you know, just what is the actual number? So we've got a 10 point variance in here. So let's go ahead. Oops, out of shotgun ammo. That's not good. Go ahead and put our supplies away here. All right, so, so at 100, they were, fall, they were dying. So, now we know that is a good factor. Let's try, what should we try? Well, I suggest what we do is put down some frames and we'll see just what the actual number is. Because I'm really curious about the actual number for their um, fall distance. We happen to have some frames in our inventory. Okay, so this would be 99. Whoa. It takes so long to go up and down here. It is truly impressive. So at 99, let's test this out. 99, fat zombies, launch! So at 99, wow, that really was a good result. At 99, they were surviving. Uh, we had one miss and die immediately. So at 99, they they survived and ran over and actually hit the. Ah, yes. Okay, let's make, let's uh see if we can do a few more zombies just to double check this. But it looks like and we kind of got lucky. We only had to do one more. He missed, and that was enough. Gentlemen, you need some more friends. So let's give you guys some more friends. Yep. At 99, they survive. Excellent result. Excellent result. Okay. See, this is science at work. Testable, repeatable, and falsifiable. All right, let's try with a different kind of tough zombie. Since we know, I'm pretty sure that the frost zombies are just as strong, or snow zombies, I should say, are just as strong. So let's go ahead and spawn in 25 
of the snow zombies and see how they do. Gents, plummet please. Same result, okay. Snow zombies can fall and as long as they land on you know we had that pile there interesting we had a few survive interesting we had a few survive i think we need to uh replicate our experiment here let's uh let's see i do have some other plans for fall damage i am going to also do fall damage with the with with myself to test what distances oh Interesting. Interesting. You know, it seems, I don't know. I don't know. We had, I, I want to get a clear, a clearer picture of what's going on here. So let's get rid of these two gentlemen. Yes, please stand. Would you mind staying still? Thank you. And would you mind looking into the testing apparatus? Thank you very much. All right. Let's uh, wait until the testing, um, landing target zone has been cleared i did have a uh once someone, someone someone was asking what happens for spider zombies at the 20 mark so let's test these spider zombies at the 20 mark spider zombies at 20. interesting we're getting interesting That's interesting. About half death. It's very interesting that some of them lived. Or it's interesting that just a few died, I should say. Well, what we can do to test this while we're still waiting for everything to clear. Oh, that is clear now. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead up here again, and we're going to test the snow zombies once again from 100 block height. So this is snow zombie, 100 block height, with inconsistent results. So let's try this again. Okay, they are living. They, I mean, they must be, they must have like basically no health left. So anything that happens to them finishes them off. Okay, so what I'm suggesting we should do as well here is, so we, we have some zombies surviving at 20 blocks so let's go to a 22 block fall we'll do a temporary testing service uh, let's put in a couple more a couple more blocks here in the temporary testing surface okay so 22 block fall with the spider zombie I still have some of these guys to to kill. Whoa, I wish you could go up as fast as you can go sideways. Okay, so now spider zombie, 22 block fall. What do we have to say? Spider jump zombie, spider. Spider zombie, spider zombie. Spider, spider zombie, spider zombie. Okay, spider zombies plummet. Twenty-two blocks, insta jib, for spider zombies. So now, of course, we have to try twenty-one. All right, let's go ahead and pick up our. Of course, we.
I don't want to loot them. Thank you, but no thank you. All right, so 21 block fall for spider zombies. Interesting. Very good. Very good statistics here, folks. All right. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Spider zombie 21 and go. 21 is the magic number for spider zombies. Excellent. All right. Well, I think it is time to move on to the big daddies. That's right. Cop zombies. I'm going to start cop zombies with the right with here because I'm I'm betting they're just as strong. They're going to be just as strong. So I'll leave well, leave the temporary 99 block fall in place. And we're going to go ahead and... Sp now, these guys are going to be annoying because they're going to be puking at me. So, we got to be a little careful here. So, here we go. Fat Zombies, 99 block fall. Testing in 3, 2, 1. Okay, there... They're living. They are living. But they're taking enough damage that they're exploding really fast. Look at that vomit spraying up here. Oh, geez. They're, they're throwing up at me while they fall. Oh, geez. That's just nasty. I never realized before that they were uh, parabolic arcs either. Because they always just come right at you. Interesting. Okay. So they, they take enough damage that they trigger a death, the death uh, call. But they are not insta-dead. Insta so let's move up to 110 block fall for the cop zombie. Don't keep coming. Yeah, you. If you hit him, they won't. Uh... There he goes. Getting puke all over my testing chambers, bastards. All right, so caught zombie, one hundred and ten block fall. Engaging in three, two, one. Testing commence. Alright, 110 block fall. Let's go on down here so we can really see it in all its glory. Okay, they are surviving the fall. Yeah, it looks like they're immediately triggering the death animation. So the question is, if we keep them away from the spikes, will they still... If we keep them away, will they still trigger or not? So, the, yeah, that's the question. So, are you taking all the, the kill damage from the fall? Hello. Well, here we, we'll find out here really quickly. So, he's definitely running and exploding. Okay, so the fall damage from that height is enough to trigger them to die. All right, let's see if there's an insta-kill then. Let's see if we can get an insta-kill from 120 block fall, which is pretty much more than you'll ever be able to get in actual game. That's for darn sure. All right, from 120 blocks in the air, final test with the zombie cop here we go three two one testing commence let's go ahead and head on down okay they are inst they are living and they're not insta killing
Oh, look at that. Lovely explosions. Okay, so they're insta kill. So it looks like there is no in there is no insta kill for the fat combis, the fat zo uh, the zombie cops. It was like no matter what distance they fall, they will live to run and then explode. Who do I have? Oh, I have a I have a copper here. Aw. Uh, puke. Oh, we're gonna have to test zombie puke range. I can see that test in the future. Zombie puke range. That's pretty good. That's really. I mean, that is a ballistic trajectory, but still, that's that's pretty good. I don't think so, buddy. You're breaking my testing chamber. All right. Well, interesting experimental evidence here. We've got some good numbers for spider zombies, for cop zombies, for fatties. So I think this was all in all a very good falling damage episode. All right. So stay tuned. Join me for... What are you doing? Okay. That was a weird... Uh, that was a weird death animation there. He was hanging on by his buck teeth and his head split out or whatever. All right, anyway, if you like this episode, click that like button and comment. Tell me what we should experiment with the zombies for the next episode. Some things we've got lined up. Uh, there is a structural integrity, part one and two. We've got, um, we're going to do spike damage. We're going to do barbed wire damage. We're going to do uh, player fall damage and other great things. So please stay tuned, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, your family, and your grandma what kind of awesome experiments we can conduct with our zombie brethren. So for now, it's been Wrong the Bold, wishing you a happy, happy, sciencey day.